Hi, this is a quick demo of a tool I made called LXDev. It uses LXD and LXC in the background to create lightweight disposable development containers that also allow you to connect to X Windows sessions. So let me give you a quick tour. The executable is called LXDev. And before you could start, you need to have LXD installed and running. Uh, you'll need to create configuration file and templates. So you can use the lxdev config command with dash c to create a configuration file in your home directory and dash t to create the templates file. These templates are lxc profiles that get applied to the containers that you bake. After you've created the templates, the first time you run, you'll also need to run the profiles too. The profile command allows you to show or write a profile, and those profiles are read from the files that are on your disk in the lxdev profile directory. So if you look at an example profile, the GUI profile has uh, bind mounts for the x11 sockets and a few other things that get installed including visual studio code so if we were to create a container we'll give it a name of um, uh, captain hook it will get created by default with just the gui profile All of those things are managed with either the configuration file or command line flags. So now we've created a container. We can list them, see that we have one running called Captain Hook. And because I created my LXD bridge on a Mac VLAN, it has an external IP address for that container. So I can actually ping it which won't work because the um, the hairpin routing on the NIC won't work. If we used IP VLAN, I think that would, but Mac VLAN doesn't. Um, so now I can uh, open up the container. With LXDev connect, and that gives me a prompt as the Ubuntu user, which is the default user. And I can actually look and see what's running in here. And you can tell that the last thing that's happening down here is apt. And it's installing all of the things that were in that profile that I listed as um, parts of the profile. So it's installing things like Git and Visual Studio Code. So if we watch that for a little bit, we can see that it's downloading Go right now. It's running bash. So if I exit and come back in, I don't have go yet. Don't know what it's doing. Go is still, still going. But you see, I have Visual Studio Code installed, and this is my favorite part about this. So this is my Linux machine, just a standard Ubuntu install. But uh, the awesome part of this is I can type code insiders and open up a X window session inside the container that displays on my desktop. So if we look at the terminal here, we can see that the host name is Captain Hook. The host name of my uh, computer is not Captain Hook. So I'm inside the container, but I'm displaying the code session on my 
host computer, which is really awesome. I love the idea that I can share X window sessions and they're quick. If you've done any remote X before, you'll know how painful they are, but there's no latency or lag here. This is regular Visual Studio code as if it were running locally. I can install extensions, do all of the rest of the things that you would expect to be able to do. Um, and even more interestingly, because I used that external um, bridge on LXC, I can SSH to another machine. And then SSH to Captain Hook. Oops. Every time you create a new container, you kill, you get a new host key. Here we go. So I didn't like my public key. But we can fix that by connecting and copying over the authorized key. Now you notice these are the SSH keys from the host. They just got copied in. They're not bind mounted in, so I'm not modifying my own uh, host SSH directory. They just get copied in on the first time. So now if we do that again, we have a connection and I can use all of the stuff that's in this machine. So the idea would be we create one of these containers for uh, each project and the rest of your computer doesn't get polluted with all of the junk that you install every time, whether that's you know, a forked version of LLVM or a different version of Go or all of the crazy dependencies that you're installing for something. And when you're done with a session, you can either pause it can see that it stopped it's not taking any resources and you can restart it later if you want to or you can remove it and now it's gone not taking any disk space so this was my idea for a really fast but flexible way to do dev environments that are kind of ephemeral but longer lasting uh, much faster than Docker. File access is almost instant. I don't see any real noticeable delay. And it's been a really fun project learning the LXC and LXD APIs and writing them in Go. Uh, the project is at GitHub B. Kettleson LX Dev. And there are probably two big gotchas if you want to try this out yourself in the template files. The Ethernet adapter is listed specifically as the Ethernet adapter on my machine. So you would want to uh, lxdev config t to write these templates out and then change this and then use lxdev profile to write them with the correct Ethernet adapter on your machine. And it's possible that um, my username is in this code somewhere or my home directory name. I think I got them all out, but not positive. So anyway, I hope you want to give it a shot. Uh, obviously, it's only good in Linux, but that's the best place to be developing anyway. Thanks for watching.